Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to solve an example on circle theorem. So the question is the points A, B and T lie on a circle. So A, B, T we can see that they are lying on a circle and C, T, S is a tangent to the circle at T. So this is a tangent to the circle. So let me just highlight it. Tangent means it just touches the circle at one single point. So the tangent CTS is touching the circle at the point T. And it says that ABC is a straight line. So let us just highlight that as well. So this is a straight line. It is not a tangent because this line has entered the circle as you can see. A tangent can never enter the circle. So ABC is a straight line and AB is given equal to BT. So these two sides are same. Angle ATS is given as 98 degrees as we can see here. Work out the size of the angle ACT. So A, C and T. They want us to find out this angle. So to solve this we have to make use of some circle theorems and to begin with we can see that CTS is a tangent and AT is a chord to the circle. So the circle theorem we are going to use for this one is alternate segment theorem. It states that angles that lie between a tangent and a chord is equal to the angle made by the same chord in the alternate segment. So this is called as alternate segment theorem. In this diagram you can see that I have drawn a circle and PBQ is acting as a tangent and AB is a chord of the circle. Now if the chord is making an angle with the tangent for example let me take it as x degrees then if the same chord makes an angle in the alternate segment of the circle that is in another segment then this angle C is also going to be equal to x degree. So making use of the circle theorem let us solve this. So here we can see that AT is a chord and CTS is a tangent and the angle made by the chord with the tangent is 98 degrees. Hence angle ABT which is the alternate angle of this chord this angle is going to be also equal to 98 degrees. So we have found out angle B. Now as we can see these two sides are same hence they become an isosceles triangle because in an isosceles triangle two sides are always equal. So if these two sides are equal we can write it as angle A plus angle B plus angle T is equal to 180 degrees that is using the angle sum property of a triangle. So angle A and angle T becomes same because in an isosceles angle if two sides are same two angles are also going to be same. So let me write it as X and X over here. So angle A is X and angle B we have it as 98 degrees and angle T is also going to be X because it's an isosceles triangle. So solving this we get X plus X is 2X is equal to 180 degrees minus 98 degrees. So we get 2X is equal to let us check how much we get. We get it as 82 degrees hence X is going to be equal to 82 degrees over 2 which is equal to 41 degrees. So each angle is going to be 41 degrees over here. This is 41 and this is 41. Now we also know here that ABC is a straight line. Hence to find out this angle we can solve it by writing since it is a straight line the angle will be adding up to 180 degrees. So the other part of angle B let us take it as Y. So Y becomes equal to 
180 degrees minus 98 degrees so let us see how much we get there so we get here as 82 degrees so now we have found out y which is 82 degrees and if we find out angle t it becomes very easy for us to find out angle c because b c t forms a triangle we can see here now to find out angle t we can see that this entire thing forms a straight line so they will add up to 180 degrees so we can write here as let me take angle t here so angle t plus 41 degrees plus 98 degrees is equal to 180 degrees because it is a straight line so we can find out angle t here as 180 degrees minus 41 degrees plus 98 degrees so let us find out how much we get here we get here as 41 degrees so now we have found out angle t as well so if we take the triangle cbt so in a triangle cbt we have angle c plus angle b plus angle t is equal to 180 degrees because it's a triangle and all the angles of the triangle will add up to 180 degrees so angle c is the one we have to find plus angle B we have here as 82 and angle T we just now got it as 41 degrees is equal to 180 degrees so let us finally find out angle C which is given as 180 degrees minus 82 plus 41 which is 57 degrees so we got the angle C as 57 so ACT or BCT both the angles are same so we get the angle ACT as 57 degrees we can also write here as angle ACT is equal to 57 degrees so this is how we find the angles using the circle theorems I hope you have understood and liked the video and if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.